What's up guys? Uh, today we're going to do a core workout. We're going to do eight exercises, three rounds of everything. Should take 30 to 45 minutes. Let's do it. Okay, first off we are starting with some crunches. So with these, you want to make sure you're lying flat on your back. Um, I like to keep my hands on my head and then just slowly rolling up. You don't have to come up very high with these at all. Main thing is you're just squeezing your abs together. Uh, second, we've got leg raises. So we're doing a straight leg leg raise here. The idea of this one is to work the bottom of your abs. Um, and I'm sitting on my hands here just to help to support my lower back because sometimes you can feel it in your lower back a bit. But yeah, this will work more so the bottom of the abs. Uh, next up, we're doing some twisting sit-ups. So these can be a little bit harder. Um, you can use your arms for a bit of momentum to start off with. As long as you don't have any issues with your lower back, shouldn't be a problem. Uh, the idea of this one is that we want to work the sides of your stomach, your obliques. And that way we've hit top of your stomach with the crunches, bottom of your stomach with leg raises, side of your stomach. And then we're going on to a plank. So I've just put it down to hold it for 30 seconds to start off with if you can, or as long as you can. Um, and this is an all round great exercise for your core. Uh, next up, we're going back to the stop, top of your stomach again. We're just doing normal sit-ups. Um, so again, I'm sort of crossing my arms just to make it a little bit harder. So I'm trying not to use too much momentum. If you need to, to start off with, you can use your arms for a bit of momentum. Um, once again, just as long as you don't have any issues with your uh, neck or lower back, because it can put a little bit of stress on your lower back. Uh, next up, we've got bent knee leg raises here. So again, this will work the bottom of your stomach. I'm sitting on my hands here to support my lower back because as soon as your legs are outstretched, it does put pressure on your lower back. And the idea is you want to keep your lower back flat. So you want your whole back to be as flat as possible on the mat and just remembering to breathe through each of these exercises. Uh, next up, we've got heel taps. So this is these are great for your obliques, the side of your abs. And um, again, you, don't, you want to make sure you're not straining your neck. So you want your head pretty neutral. And uh, lastly, we're finishing off with a V-sit. So this is a hold. Um, similar to a plank in the sense that you're just staying completely still and just keeping your abs really tight and that's it. Done.